So today I am making for you a vegetable curry. Okay, so I have a selection of vegetables here. First of all, we have this, which is a sweet potato. I also have a courgette, a carrot, some garlic, and some onion, and an onion. Okay, so I put some boiling water into my jug and I'm gonna pop my stock cube in there so that I can dissolve while we're preparing everything else. Now you're gonna need a vegetable knife, which is here, also known as a paring knife. Um, make sure you, sure you wash your hands before you start. Don't dry your hands on your tea towel. Okay, we've got our chopping board all nice and secure with a wet tea towel, um, wet dishcloth underneath it. So, to peel your potato, hold it in your hand at an angle and then peel upwards towards you to get the peeling off. Um, but you don't have to use sweet potato. You can use whatever variety of vegetables you fancy. You could have a normal potato in it if you wanted to, um, or even some squash. That's even harder to peel. Now I'm just gonna cut a portion of the potato because we're not gonna use all of this for our curry. So I'm just gonna use the middle section. Now we've got the potato peeled. Let's push all the peelings to the side. And now I'm just gonna cut it in half in the middle, like so. Snap it in half. Now you've got two flat surfaces to deal with, so we're not gonna cut ourselves at all. And then I'm just gonna cut down lengths of the potato. So that's now cut into four lengths. Now these are quite wide strips, okay? So what I'd recommend is half them again and then cut into even sized dice pieces. Now they must be even, or what we call uniform, because if a piece of potato is in the curry like that and a piece like that, they're not gonna cook at the same time, okay? So. You're gonna have your white tray on your table, which is this. And I'm gonna put all the potato onto the white tray. So it's out the way whilst you're chopping your other vegetables. Okay, next I'm gonna go with the courgette. I'm only gonna use half of this. So I'm gonna just take the end off, slice it in the middle, then slice it down the middle Put that to one side okay just like we did with the potato i'm going to cut it into so we've got four portions for each one so again diced ready for the curry now to make this quicker i'm going to put two the two halves together and slice all the way through if you want to do it individually then please feel free but yet again you do not need to have courgette if you don't want it Right, the next thing that's gonna go is cauliflower. So with a cauliflower, what you do is take the leaves off, like that. And then, using your knife, you're gonna go round the core. So this is a core here. We're gonna go round, but at an angle. If you imagine it being like a cone, like a V, and you cut round, and then that should loosen all the florets. Let's take that out like so. There we go. Put that over there. Now you should be able to break off all the florets. See? Like so. It should easily break up. All right. Now I'm not going to use a whole entire cauliflower in this uh, curry. I'm just going to use some of the florets. Now I don't want to keep them whole. I'm going to cut them down in size. So I'm just going to half and half again, so technically that's quartering. Um, again, you don't have to have cauliflower, you could be using broccoli. It's a, a mixture of vegetables, as it says on the recipe. Okay, so that's my cauliflower done. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about any more. Uh, so let's put that onto the tray so that one's out of the way as well. Right, next, we've got the carrot. 
All right, so with the carrot, peel down like that, turning as you go. And then I'm gonna take the top and the tail off. Put that to the back because we don't want it to get mixed up with everything else. And then slice down the middle of the carrot. So now we've got two flat surfaces to deal with. Right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice down the middle of the carrot again and the middle of this carrot so everything's approximately the same sort of size as the courgette the sweet potato okay so cooking time will be relatively similar so hold it together and slice through if you want to slice each piece individually you can but it's quicker to bunch it all together okay carrot onto the tray right next thing i need to do my onion so with the onion, okay, not a huge onion. I'm just gonna take the top off. I'm gonna take the tail off and then score through. So that means cutting through the skin, but not cutting uh, through to the, right through to the onion, all right? Now, slice that top to bottom, through. So now again, you've got two flat surfaces to deal with. Bridge over, holding tight, slice thinly one way, and then we go the other way. Now the onion is gonna be one of the first things to go into the pan. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the pan on. I'm gonna put this up to five. So it get nice and hot. I've put some oil in there already. Okay, so that will just start to get more run. Okay, so peel your hand flat onto the knife. Crush down. And then we're just gonna nip the end off. And in doing that, you'll be able to take off the skin. There's one. Right, now, now you've done that, bridge over just like you did your onion. Slice through thinly. And then we'll go the other way. Okay. Now, the smaller the onion is, the more infused the flavour will be in your dish. So you can uh, cross chop round to get it even smaller, but just make sure that your fingers are flat on top of the knife. Okay, do not grip it because you could lose your fingers under it. Okay, right. Now we have everything prepared. So we're going to go over to the pan. Oil getting nice and runny, which is what we want. So, first thing is the pan going to the top. Okay, now we're going to put our onion in. Like that. Now you get your mixing spoon out of your bowl and mix that around, making sure that it's getting all nicely covered with the oil. In the meantime, you can get your stock cube that you've already put into your jug and give it a quick whiz round with a fork, making sure that it dissolves nicely and we've got no stock lumps at the bottom. Okay, so I can just start to hear a sizzle, so I'm now going to get the onion in there. Right, can you hear it start to sizzle away? See, the onion and the garlic are sizzling away nicely. So it's at this point what we need to do is we're adding flour. So just tip in your flour and the tablespoon of curry powder. Now I have a uh, medium curry powder, which is slightly hotter than mild, or you could go hot depending upon your preference. Leave that one up to you. Okay. Right. Mix it all round. Now as you can see, it looks very dry. Now at this point, you add in the stock. A little bit of the stock, just a little bit. And now we're going to put in the rest of our vegetables and then we'll add in the rest of the stock. So, this because it's at the end of the tray, goes the sweet potato. Okay, next in goes some cauliflower. Doesn't really matter which order it goes in. So what we're going to do is top it up with the stock 
leave it to bubble and boil away and then once it's bubbling we'll turn the heat down and let it simmer gently for about 20 minutes just so the vegetables are all nice and soft and the flavour has infused. Okay, so there we go, let's add in the rest of the stock like so. Now check that you haven't left your stock cube in the jug just like I have. If you've done that just to get it out a bit more easily, okay, we'll just put a little bit more water in there and add that to the pan, okay? So, give it a good stir. Make sure that the curry powder, the flour, are mixed in well with the vegetables and the stock. Okay, quite watery at the moment. Obviously that water will be absorbed by the vegetables and also through the steam evaporates. Okay, and now you can see it is bubbling away. So I'm gonna turn the heat down and let it simmer gently for about 15 to 20 minutes. So I turn it down to about three. Okay, just give it a quick mix every now and again. Let's have a little look, see. There we go. Okay. So that's going to simmer away for about 15 